Hi, I'm Chris from Auto Openers. Today I'll be showing you how to install a roller opener for a roller door. Here are the tools required to fit the motor and here are the kit contents which include the motor, the remotes and a weight bar. Make sure your door is easy to operate manually and free of any obstruction. If the door is not balanced properly, it may need servicing by a professional technician. Ensure you have at least 150 millimetres of fixing or side room from the edge of your opening. You will need at least 45 millimetres between the door curtain and the bracket for your motor to fit comfortably. Moving the bracket may be necessary. Remove the locking bar arms with a screwdriver. These bars are no longer needed as your motor will lock the door. Place supplied plastic caps over the holes to prevent any injury. For security, the curtain must be pinned to the drum where it first meets on the roll in the closed position. Mark where you will screw to pin the door on the same rib both sides. Use appropriate screws to drill through the curtain and into the drum. Determine the centre of the door on the bottom rail to mark where the weight bar will be fitted. Use a drill to mark the holes for the weight bar screws and then drill the right size hole for the weight bar screws. Put the weight bar screws through the holes and mount the weight bar onto the screws. Put washers and nuts onto the screws and tighten weight bar to the door. Have the door in the open position and ensure the U-bolt on the opposite end to the motor is tight. Secure a rope over the door and knot at the bottom. Remove the U-bolt on the motor side of the door. For single sized doors, the door can be gently lowered to a protected prop or tall ladder. Slide the motor onto the shaft of the door and align the forks of the motor either side of a drum wheel spoke. If you don't have a prop, you may get someone to help you lower the door. For double doors, props are highly recommended. Insert the black saddle under the shaft and insert the U-bolt through the saddle and bracket. Place the two nuts and washers onto the U-bolt and tighten. Remove the rope. Bring the door to approximately halfway and engage the opener by pulling down on the manual release cord. Plug your motor into a power point or extension lead and turn on. Now that your roller opener is fully installed, we are ready to set the limits, the force and program in the remotes. Remove the button cover with a flathead screwdriver. A drive direction change will be needed for left hand installations. Press operate to change to correct direction. Hold the red close button to drive the door down until you reach the desired close position. You can use short presses of the open and close buttons to inch the door into position.
Once the desired close position is reached, press the set button once. Hold the green open button to drive the door up until you reach the desired open position. Again, press set to confirm the limit. The motor requires a force setting to determine the sensitivity in the event of an obstruction. While holding down the force margin button, press the open and close buttons to increase or decrease the force. To program your remotes, hold down the door code button and press the selected remote button twice. You will hear a solid beep when the button is learned. The same process is used to program all remote buttons. Any button that has been programmed will operate the door both up and down. To activate the courtesy light with your remote, program a different remote button using the same process but with the light code button. Stick the warning label onto the rear of the door where it can be seen. Now enjoy the convenience of your automatic door with just the press of a button.